Long ago, two races rolled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Throughout the years, many humans climbed Mount Debat, and they all met the same fate, except for one. One human named Frisk befriended the entire underground. In the end, the barrier was destroyed, and all monsters were freed. It seemed like a new beginning for the future of humans and monsters. But little did Frisk know that yet another journey lies ahead. There's still someone else who has yet to be freed from their suffering. I tell you their name, but I don't think I should, after all. It's rude to talk about someone who's listening. Begin game. Okay, this is also by Ricky G, the guy that made Upper Tail. He's really good at um game designing, obviously, so begin game. A few seconds after the end of Undertale. Oh hey Torio. Come along, Frisk. I'm so excited to finally be on the surface. It's been so long. Well anyway. The rest should be up ahead. Let's go. It's been so long, so we've been here before, Torio? Hm? There's something you're not telling me about? Let's follow Torio then. All the way down Mount Ebbet. I like the recreation. Let's just say. Warning. Do not go past this point. The cave is the cave up ahead is dangerous. If you pass, you're responsible you're not we're not responsible for death. If you die, then you have no one else to blame but yourself. Although you technically wouldn't be able to blame anyone, because you'd be dead. Anyone turn, anyway, turn back now. Thank you. Wow. That sign just broke the fourth wall. I'm almost ahead of Torio. Another sign. Warning. Do not climb the mountain past this point. Thanks, Mount Climbers Association. Wow, there's a Mountain Climbers Association? Oh, I didn't know that, Ricky. We're almost there. Now, should I follow Torio or should I go up? Nope, there's nothing here. Hi, Rock. Doesn't say anything. Oh, hey, everyone. Ah, here you are. We've been waiting. Ahead of us lies the human village. Frisk, are you ready to introduce us to the humans? You are? Wonderful. Let's hope they like us. Maybe it'll help if I tell some of my amazing jokes. Or, well, maybe it might be best if we keep our jokes to ourselves. Alright, everyone. It's finally time. Let us enter the village. Try to make a good first impression. Try to make a good first impression. This is this is very important. Off we go. I wish I could talk to everyone. A few months later. I'm at my home. You open the closet. It's full of striped shirts. You don't really want to, you don't really want to have a bedtime. A bedtime. It's a convenient lamp. Feeling the warmth of your small cozy room, it fills you with comfort. Oh, and determination too. Okay. This is Toriel's room. Okay. The room doesn't belong to anyone yet. However, it might be Asgore's if he manages to get back with Toriel. Currently, he's living, he's living on Undyne's couch until he sorts everything out. That's kind of sad. 
but hey Toriel. Hey Mama Toriel. Hey Goat Mom. What's what's good what's going on? There's chocolate in the fridge. I want it. There's white fur in the sink again. Tori. Ah, good morning, my child. I hope you slept well. It's, an, it's a beautiful day outside. You shouldn't really go. You should really go out and play. It's so beautiful. Have fun. And she says the same thing. So let's get out of here. And that's the house thing again. We can actually go back in the house, surprisingly enough. The lamppost. So they built a small village in the woods, I guess. Oh, hey, Vegetoid. What's going on? Don't forget to eat your greens. Damn it, Vegetoid! <laughs> I don't want to eat my greens. It's down here. More houses? Uh, first I'll go to the left. Let's see what's there. It's a trail. It's a pathway. To where though? Oh, hi there. Um, uh, what's his name again? Puzzler? Elder Puzzler? Can I talk to you? Feh! Not only puzzles getting worse, video games are too. There's less original games out there now. There's a bunch of poorly made fan games. They're literally just copying other games. What a disgrace. It's a good thing we're not in that stinking fan game. Sheesh! If we are, I'd really lose hope for this world. Wow. Stop breaking the fourth wall, please. It's the bear resident. I heard some weird people are running for president. One of them wants all monsters to wear specific tags or something. But why? To make us different? Aren't we already different enough? We're monsters. Ah, <sighs> that's politics. Some weird people like Donald Trump who won the election? Yeah, that too. Hi, Pyrus. I'll talk to you in a second. Business is booming here on the beach. I'm so happy. Hi, Pyrus. How's it going? Bruh, you staring at the beach? Oh, hello, Frisk. Isn't it a lovely day outside? I just love the surface. It's beautiful. I'm currently enjoying this dazzling view. If you're looking for Sans, I have no idea where he is whatsoever. Check the door to our house. He might be. He might have left a note. Also, if you see him, remind me to clean the snow off the roof. I told him to do so that months ago. See you later, Frisk. And that was everything from Pyrus, so let's go back up. What's this? The door's locked. You hear what? You hear someone shouting, NAH! on the other side. Undyne? I mean, by the colors, you can pr practically guess which house it is. This is Alphys, isn't it? You hear someone watching anime on the other side. Yep. You can tell from the color palette. Yeah, I'm not sure who it is, but this might be Metaton or Muffet. You hear some funky music and someone saying, Oh, yes! on the other side. That's what I've done. What about this? An indie deaf lives here. Lives here. Their name is Ricky G or something like that. Oh, and it's your house. To fill in the blanks. Oh, look, it's Froggit. Happy Croaks. Ribbit. Uh, did we come from this house? A YouTuber lives here. Their their name is MadPad or something like that. Oh, it's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. This? You hear spooky tunes coming from inside. Okay. And this is Toriel's house, where we came from. Yep. Any secrets? Maybe the lab? <laughs> I can't get inside. What about grill bees? Oh, it's open. Oh, look, it's a septic eye. Be careful, kid. That big guy will still... That big guy will still try to sit on your, on your lap and give you lots of love and, love and attention. We're not sentries anymore, but we still wear these outfits because they look pretty cool. Hi, Dago. How's it going, man? Can't even go to you? Oh. I'm still thinking about getting a spy collar. Hey, Groby. Hi. Hiya. I'm Sam, Septic Sam. I'm a giant eyeball. I can't blink so I'm constantly in pain. It burns! So that's a Jack Septic Eye thing? Septic Sam? Still broken. Well, I'm out of here. This is Sansa of Paris' house. It's locked. However, there's a note on the door which says, At the lab, be back later. The note's written awfully, so it's definitely by Sans. 
Should you go check on him at a sacred lab? This will progress the game and you will not be able to go back. Yes. You decide to go to the lab. No one knows about it but you and Sans. It's around the back. Hey Sans, what you working on buddy? Huh, who's there? Oh, it's just you. Hey kiddo. Sorry, I wasn't actually expecting anybody to come in since... Well, nobody besides me and you even knows this lab exists. I wouldn't have thought if someone came by there to read the note, but not know where the lab is, so he'd just come back later. I forgot that you actually knew though. Actually, so, uh... Say, you're probably wondering what the heck the thing behind me is. Well... You know, Frisk, we've been through a lot, haven't we? You're the reason we're out here on the surface. And you're one of my closest friends. I'm pretty sure I can trust you, can't I? Look, uh, I know this out of the blue and all, but maybe it's time I told you something. I never talked about this to anyone else. Not even Papyrus. I think it's time I told you the truth, kiddo. Promise me you won't tell anyone though? Alright? Alright. Well, it's getting harder and harder to remember now, but I used to be a lab assistant. I worked for the Royal... I worked for the old Royal Scientists. His name was W. D. Gaster. He was a great guy. One day though, he discovered the most powerful thing in the universe, determination. He then built the machine that's behind me, which is powered by determination. It's sort of like a time machine, except instead of going to different times, you go to different timelines. However, it can also be used to bring things back from other timelines. For example, a person. Anyway, Gaston was a pretty curious guy. He had to test everything. So he gave himself a bit of determination. He even gave me a small bit too. And he started jumping from one timeline to another using this machine. It was fine at first until one day, Gaster thought to himself, what would happen if he started killing monsters in other timelines? How would it affect other timelines? And of course he just had to try it. I tried to warn him that the more you kill, the more you distance yourself. But he didn't listen. He really wanted to find out what happened. Soon enough he started going through different timelines, killing innocent people. His reason was, it's not our timeline, so it doesn't matter. But over time he started to become less sympathetic, he started to distance himself. Then one afternoon he wanted to go full genocide on another timeline. I had to stop him, it was going too far. I uh, I think I remember now. Come on G, this is stupid and you know it. You can't just go to some random timeline and kill everyone in it. That's crazy. Now step away from that machine, please. No, Sans. I will not. I must do this for the sake of science. Besides, it won't affect us, will it? It only affects other timelines. I must find out what happens. Besides, I would never harm anyone in our timeline. No one. Sans. Don't you trust me? <clears throat> Don't you trust me? Nah, I couldn't. He wasn't the same guy I used to know. No way I could trust him. Hopefully when I bring him back, he won't hate me. Huh? Why would he be mad at me? Oh well, uh, the thing is... After I tried to stop him, Gaster had activated the machine. Just when I was about to take him to another timeline. I quickly used one of my attacks to destroy the time machine. This caused the whole thing to go horribly wrong and Gaster became corrupted. The timeline fell apart. Due to this, a new timeline was created where Gaster didn't really exist. This new timeline ended up being the one we're currently in. Gaster was stuck in the old timeline, which I can only guess is empty void right now. So basically, I'm the reason he's trapped in the dark void. I wouldn't be surprised if he hated me, but maybe he's had a lot of time to think and he's calmed down. Anyway, with this machine behind me, we could attempt to bring him back. I tried to fix this thing so many times. Too many times to count. But I've got a good feeling about this attempt. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it out for me? Alright then. You might want to stay back there though. Ugh. Alright then. Let's have a dramatic countdown. 3, 2, 1. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing happened. Don't tell me it's still not fixed. It worked so hard this time, didn't even fall asleep. Come on, work! Uh, I guess it ain't. Thanks for watching. 
upload daily gaming videos so it'd be in your best interest to subscribe if you like them.